Hello, my name is Anne, your guide to when Anne almost get even. If you like bloodthirsty animals getting back at humanity, it would behoove you to like, comment, and subscribe. Our animal today is one you probably didn't see coming, just like this cyclist. Hey, dude. Oof, poor guy. Evan was competing in a mountain biking race for Team Jeep South Africa when he was clotheslined by a red heart beast. Now, red heart beasts are extremely territorial, and males have about 20 to 30 females. They're roughly 330 pounds, so you definitely don't want to get hit by that while they're going their top speed of 34 miles per hour. Now, in the video, you can hear Evan's friend shout, Watch the buck. Watch the buck. Whoa! Holy cow! Uh, red heart beasts use mounds, dirt mounds, termite mounds, feces mounds, mounds, to stand on, mark their territory, advertise their presence. So, what are the chances this heart beast was doing exactly that and felt disrespected by Evan? I have no idea, but it's a very fun theory. So the hoof of the heart beast shattered the helmet that Evan was wearing when it impacted with it. Luckily, even though Evan lost consciousness, his worst injury was just a stiff neck. So good for him. Um, kind of sucks to get taken out of the race by an antelope, but at least you've got a really fun story for why you went from second place to no place. Um, our next story is a little bit more grim. This keeper was actually dispatched by the antelope in question. So at a animal park in Sweden, a keeper was gored by an eland. I couldn't find any information as to if it was a common or greater eland, but regardless, both of them are the largest kind of antelope. Um, I guess not, not both of them, but one is slightly bigger than the other one and they're the top two biggest antelope. So, according to the owner of the park, who was also there when the attack happened, but didn't see exactly what happened, the keeper um, had many years of experience and great competence. These are direct quotes. Now, reading that, I'm going, okay, then how did this horrible accident happen? Well, it was time for some detective work. Elands are only aggressive when they either have calves, babies, or when they are rutting, breeding. So, okay, I couldn't find any information on if there were any calves around, so I looked into, I ran with the, the breeding and rutting angle. So for elands, common elands, their breeding season is in the wet season, and that's going to be July to August. Except for the ones in Zambia, I don't know what's going on with the ones in Zambia, I just know that's not their breeding season. Now, greater elands also have the same breeding season in their range. Okay, great. But Anne, you cry, this didn't happen in Africa. This happened in Sweden. And you're positively correct. It sure did. So then I looked up, okay, what's the wet season in Sweden? Guess what? July to August. Late summer. When was the keeper gourd? August. So I'm thinking that probably there were some raging hormones going on and if it was a male eland that attacked that would ex that actually might be a valid reason as to why it happened um because obviously people and animals get very unpredictable when hormones are gushing through their brain and changing their behaviors and making them kind of um, this is all speculation and it's all theory. It's entirely based off of the information I could find regarding the incident. I think this is probably what happened. I could be wrong and it's up to you to decide if you think that's what happened or not. But from what I could find, there wasn't a real explanation for it. Um, so I used what natural factors might be available. Now obviously I can't say if this animal park abuses its animals or anything like that, I have no idea. 
But as far as I could tell, this was like their first major incident. Um, so that might have been what happened. Who knows? We'll see. If you want more bloodthirsty animal content, it is a good idea to like and subscribe right now. I am here Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with fun animal content. Well, fun animal content and interesting stories. Bye. Dirt mounds, termite mounds, feces mounds, mounds. <laughs>